350 match day programs. So it's not exactly looking. <laughs> Thank you, mate. You got a badge? Got a badge mate. Young man. Oh, what a good lad. Any spare change for Prostate Cancer UK? It hasn't been great this season, has it? There's probably been more lows than highs. Yeah, definitely more lows than highs. But we won 3 0 on Tuesday, so we're coming here off the back of a good win. Okay. So we're hopeful. What can we expect from uh, Ipswich today? We can expect. Oh. How honest do you want us to be? <laughs> we effort, they'll put the effort in, yeah. won't they? They'll yeah. all give 100% under Mick, but whether going forward will beat Fulham, I'm not too sure. No, I think it'll be an interesting game to see how we do, like you said, off the back of the win. Could be interesting. And who is your, who's the player to look out for today? Um, so there's our goalkeeper, Balakowski. He can pull off some really good saves. Sears and McGoldrick. Yeah, they both got a couple on Tuesday, didn't they? Yeah, Freddie was doing well Tuesday. I think Freddie might step up again. So I think it's our goalie and our two men up front. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what do you think the score's going to be? I'm going for a draw. I'm going for 1-1 one, one or 2-2, two, two, but town to score first. Yeah. I reckon we might just sneak a win in the last couple of minutes. <laughs>
Especially Floyd Aite, three goals in two matches now. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, was he your man of the match today? <coughs> yeah, probably. I thought Chris Martin played well as well. Yeah? Yeah, and I think we're a better team with him in the, in the, in the team. He made some good saves. Yeah, he did. Really well. Oh, I think we can get in the playoffs. I think it's, it's obviously going to go to the last game of the season. It's a high possibility. Chef Wednesday got tough games, we've got some tough games, so it's going to go down to it. But I think we're. Uh, I think we'll get there, yeah. But it's also, we're creeping up on the other team as well. I mean, see, Reading lost 7 1 today to Norwich. Anything can happen. But fingers crossed. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, obviously, got to keep the pressure on with the other teams around us, but very pleased with the win. Do you think it was a brave change to make? Drop Bream and uh, the goalkeeper button today. I thought it was a very strange situation because Button's uh, made mistakes before and he still kept his place. But um, I'm very pleased that he did make the changes. But uh, at the end, it proved we needed to make the changes. If we do make the playoffs, and then that's one, one extra for us. But I'm quite happy to be in this division next season. And do you think that this team is definitely building from last season to this season? And do you think they, they've got really big potential if they get in the playoffs? Yeah, I think they've got much potential to get in the playoffs. I, mean, I think they're building superbly. And he's got the nucleus of what he wants now. He's got the, he needs to sort the back line out a little bit more. But I think that could be something to come in the summer, hopefully. One or two players sort out the forward positions as well. We need to sort out the forward and main striker. But if he gets that done, we've got no problems. Well, it was a hard game in effect. Uh, although the result 3-1 uh, doesn't suggest that. Uh, it could have been 2-2. It was a 2-0 four. Uh, they had chances they missed. But about a bit of a luck, but only made a couple of good saves. And that third goal was needed. And even in the latter stages of the game, uh, poor goal to give away late on for a team to chase a push at the playoffs because they never come uh, across other problems. What, what were you concerned and what were you positive about today? Uh, positive? Well, I thought we would lose today or draw. Got points, but uh, I think we play about with it too much in the midfield. We push the defence under pressure. And we're, because we're a team that plays football, other teams, I mean, it was, it was a different uh, tactic today with the goalkeeping long balls from Bettinelli instead of the short ones with buttons playing so that was positive because Martin was getting on the flick on but we need to get need to be stronger in the tackle uh, as I say they could have been 2-2 two -two before uh, we got our third goal and that was a third goal because that did change the game I think we still can see silly goals this and, and the other thing I worked out is this division you need to play more than one way uh, you need Playing football was great, but the team's got to pick you off, which has been happening recently with Blackburn. You, know, right? you need to be able to play, need a B game to be able to play another way, because you need to be versatile, flexible, and uh, we haven't got enough of that. Anymore. Yeah, he's a much better distributor of the ball. Yeah, yeah and he's good. had he's had a few bad performances, but I mean, the highlights at Derby weren't very pretty. So, yeah, good change. Good change. He, he did reasonably well, but no. Did enough Absolutely. to keep his place, yeah. I think. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And Martin back, I thought, made a big difference for us. Yeah. He was a focal point. We could hit it long and yeah, he played get very him well. On the back Held up the ball well, didn't he? Yeah. They shut us down and we went long. And Martin was found really well by Bettinelli. You know, the, the ball to him was good. So we played I a lot more in the opposition half than we normally do. Yeah. A lot of the time I we're playing at the back, and actually it was a lot further forward and much better for it. I think that was a tactical change because they they expected us to play out of the back. More. You know, we did some of the time, but we mixed it up. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? It's fair a lot to say these guys deserve to go up. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Thank you very much. And McCarthy out. Oh, oh, we okay. like you, Trax. Pete, you better come tell us what you did. Thank you. <laughs> Proper football team. London's original. Well Thank done. Thank you. Thanks Cheers. Good luck <laughs> <Good laughs> in like the next one. I'm not going to swear, but <laughs> <laughs> bleep, 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 Chelsea, <laughs> Arsenal, Tottenham. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Better than Fulham to win 3 1. Basically, in every home match, I come to 3 1, 3 1, 3 1. Sometimes I pick a first goal scorer. Again, I did it today. I eat a 6 to 6 to 1, 5 quid on it. And all this lot over here were giving me abuse. It was 3 0. I can't say I wanted it, which is, well, you know, you don't mind it, which getting a single goal, do you, near the end? And I got it. And then they were all 
come on Fulham, get the fourth, get the fourth, get the fourth. But wheeled on, 3-1, didn't score the fourth. That'll do me. Come on! <laughs> and I don't I'll get no more stick. 3-1! <laughs> and that was it, so I'm £335 better off. It was lovely. <laughs> it's paid for a season ticket for next year. What did you think of the game today? It was like really good. Well, it was brilliant, wasn't yeah, it? Fantastic sounds, fantastic goals. Yeah, and it's Ian's birthday as well. So it was, oh, yeah. good birthday present. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, fantastic. Nice. And what's it like being a ball boy in this iconic stadium? It's nice. I like, I like the feeling like that. It makes you feel like you're on the pitch. You're on the pitch. You can see, you can see everything. From where I sit, you can see everything. And it's like, good when you get past the The atmosphere is very good. I like it. Um, I was very impressed, to be honest. We we come back well from that debacle up at Derby. Uh, attacked him well. I thought the Ito was fantastic on the wing. Uh, Fredericks was also brilliant. Um, I think Maddell was particularly great. I mean, I'm glad he was there. He seemed a bit slow, and they were very quick up front, so we were kind of very lucky not to get away. And obviously, Bettinelli was great in goal. But on the whole, yeah, it was great. It's a bit high out there, so they kind of they really sort of shut down after about, about 70 minutes. They didn't really want to <laughs> just knock it about, just not have to run anything. So yeah, that was it. So it was a good win. So on to Norwich, really. Who was your winner of the match today? No, it's got to be Ito. He was amazing. He was just up and down that wing. Great goal and just caused some trouble all day. It was a good, it was a good win to get back on form after Derby during the week with a bad loss. So we've been in a bit of bad form considering we just got back into the playoffs. But, um, good win today to get back on form and a few to go. So we're still in the show for the playoffs. So. Who's your favourite shaker now? Funny Ito. Funny Ito. He had a good game. Yeah, he, he played really well. Um, you know, some of the big boys, Kearney is the main guy, but he wasn't really on, on form today before he stepped off and he had a great finish for the goal and he took a well, so happy. Going forward, what do you think? Do you think Norwich and then after the game, what do you think is going to play out? Three tops going for the Yeah, there's two fixtures coming up, but you know, if you're going to walk, you're going to have to beat the best, so um, we're just going to have to take it it's game by game like we've been doing all season, but likely it's going to come down to the last game of the season against Sheffield Wednesday away. It's going to be them or us, um, so we're just going to have to see.